Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to bring you warm greetings of Yahweh on behalf of the people and government of the Republic of the Marshall Islands. This summit for democracy hosted by the United States is a vital opportunity for democratic countries to advance on what unites us, the rise of authoritarian movements globally and in our wider region is of great concern. As we have learned in serving on the UN Human Rights Council, we must network with democracies around the world. We are all united by a common cause, a commitment to ensuring the freedom to openly choose our governments, to effectively address corruption, and to advance core human rights. The Marshall Islands enshrines these values directly in our constitution and implements them in our practice. Our compact of free association with the United States is a shared commitment to ensure our democracy, our freedom, and development to trends, including against authoritarianism. As a relatively young nation, we face some very difficult, unique challenges in our economy, core social development, and environment. The rising seas driven by climate change and the impacts of nuclear testing are especially difficult threats to our future. As a large port state for tuna fishing, we are actively engaged in all efforts in our capacity to secure our maritime boundary, to curb illegal fishing, and to address human and drug trafficking to ensure our people the freedom and prosperity they deserve. But no matter our challenges, we spare no possible opportunity to ensure our people the importance of our custom and culture, to have the freedom and dignity of human rights embedded in our constitution. Neither the global pandemic nor any other unique development burden can ever be used by the Marshall Islands or any other nation to justify human rights violation or evade accountability. I agree with US President Biden that our commitment must be in actions, not just lofty rhetoric. So we look forward to joining many of the initiatives put forward. In the region now to communicate, the five leaders of the Micronesian President's Summit, Kiribati, Marshall Islands, the Federated States of Micronesia, Nauru, and Palau, issued a first ever commitment to develop an initial statement of shared foreign policy goals. In this regard, the Marshall Islands look forward to working with other Micronesian countries to address the key themes of this summit. This is a key opportunity to strengthen the links between our region and other democracies around the world. Thank you, and Komondada.